Hello, I'm Rick Buckner. I've created an educational tool that uses math to teach you to think disguised as a game. The game is called Albert's Insomnia. Albert was my great-grandfather. He held patents on spark plugs, mufflers, and other things. During the Great Depression, he had to sell his patents to keep the family alive. The insomnia part of the game's name arose from my inability to sleep as a small child. Of course, my parents' advice was to count sheep. That's how I came up with Albert's Insomnia. Let me show you how to play the game. The deck consists of four sets of cards numbered 1 through 12. The lower cards in the deck, 1 through 4, have yellow backs. The middle cards, 5 through 8, have blue backs. And the higher cards, 9 through 12, have green backs. This allows the educator or the parent to differentiate the skill level based on the student's abilities. Let's play a sample hand. Let me take up some of these cards. We'll play a hand with just one through four so everybody understands clearly what we're doing. The first player would look at these cards and, and a, one of the first solutions you could come up with would be two minus one is one. The second player, their options could be three minus one is two. We're just counting in order, taking turns. The third player would say four minus one is three, and so on. The next player could say three plus one is four, then four plus one is five, three times two is six, four plus three is seven, four times two is eight, four times two plus one is nine, four times three is 12, minus two is 10, four times three is 12, minus one is 11, four times three is 12. For 14, we have a solution of four times three is 12, plus two is 14. And we could go on and on, but let's take Albert's insomnia out and see if the kids like it. Let's do ladies first. Mercedes, lead us off with a one. Very good, Jared. Two. two. Will. I, or a I got three. Plane. Three. Three. I have to do four. I have another three. I have another three. Four. I got a four. I got a four. I got a four. Seven minus three. And a four. Come on, man. I had seven minus five plus two. That's a sadness. Very good. I was. Uh, oh. Five, please. Five, please. Five. Five equals five. You six Mercedes. Okay. Okay. So five plus three equals eight minus two equals six. Very good. He's got seven. seven. I've got eight. Eight. There's no eight. Five plus three. Very good. Eight. Okay, so there is an eight. Seven plus two is nine. You have to do ten. Got a ten. <laughs> five, five times two equals ten. Very good. And I'm really I happy about it. I a different one. <laughs> You got an 11, Mercedes? 11. Oh, dude. I'm so tempted. I'm, so, I'm like gonna blurt it out. 7 times 2 minus 3 equals 11. Something. Okay. Oh, that's really Same. good. That's really seven good. 7 plus 5 minus 3 plus 2. All right, Mercedes, do you, wanna do, you wanna do 12 or do you wanna yes. pass? I'm gonna do 12. Do a 12 for us now. Okay. 7 plus 5. Mm. Very good. 12 plus 5. <laughs> 7 plus 5 plus 3 minus 2. Take us through the steps. What did you say? 13. Seven. Seven plus five is plus three. Seven plus five is way 12. Easier one. Twelve plus 15. three is fifteen. Minus two. Thirteen. Very good. Okay, seven times two equals fourteen. Oh, very good. That's I have to do thing. fifteen, so I'm going to say five times three is I fifteen. Different math. Seven times two is fourteen. Fourteen plus five. Is. 19 minus 3 is 16. Very good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Obviously, the kids really like the game. Let me take a minute to explain some of the other results kids get from playing Albert's Insomnia. Albert's Insomnia gives children a chance to build their self esteem. When they win, they feel smart, not lucky. Albert's Insomnia helps develop and engage more of the brain than working with flashcards, and it also allows a chance for the kids to be interactive. 
The game also provides opportunities for creative and critical thinking. It helps make math skills automatic. Albert's insomnia gets progressively harder as you play the game. It helps hold the attention span longer for the children. Albert's Insomnia is a rare game that can be played by yourself, with small groups, or the entire class. Albert's Insomnia is a small price to pay for an investment in your child's education. Many parents and teachers agree, Albert's Insomnia is a game you can count on.